Sources in the Congress party are telling us here at Republic TV that Rahul Gandhi has decided that he will take no action against Sandeep Dixit. I'm sorry to have to inform our viewers about this, but this is what I've been told by our reporters tracking the Congress party. That Rahul Gandhi feels that Sandeep Dixit has done nothing, absolutely nothing, to merit strong action from his side. I'd like to welcome our panelists tonight on a day when the country is deeply angry at what this Congress dynast has said. Sambit Patra, General Jaswal, Colonel V. N. Thapar, RSN Singh, we have Shabnam Lohan and Inamun Nabi also with us. I, I am appalled today. Honestly, I don't know how to react, General Jaswal, because I've heard all kinds of language being thrown at the chief of the Indian Army and at the Indian Armed Forces. I've seen all kinds of names being used. <coughs> I have heard enough traitors on television with no sense of loyalty towards their own country, leave alone a question of misplaced loyalties. But I have never ever heard this language, that too from a senior leader of a party that for many years ruled this country, unfortunately, called the Congress Party. And this senior leader says that the army chief is a sarakka gunda. A sarakka gunda. General Jaswal, he calls General Bipin Rawat, a man who has served this country for 38 years and got a sword of honor from the Indian Military Academy, he calls him a ruffian on the streets. And Rahul Gandhi has officially communicated to all Congress leaders that in his view this is nothing major, nothing to get angry about, that there is everything okay if an individual calls somebody a Sarakka Gunda, but no internal party action will be taken. General Jaswal, I want your reactions on this, please. This is the most disgusting, the most pathetic, and the most abusive comment ever in the history of India on the Indian Army Chief. I want you to respond to the decision of Rahul Gandhi not to act against Sandeep Dikshit. Be, being an ultra-sensitive Fauji, I think this statement is most deplorable, distasteful. We don't require enemies. We have enemies within because we have given enough order for Pakistani papers, Pakistani awam to jeer at us. Because of the political intent, the political squabbling, and the political parties making, or drawing rather, army into politics. I would like to mention that if you do not know what General Rawat is, I will tell you as to what General Rawat is. He's one of the finest generals we have got, a strong general. Does it pain you? Do you know the number of medals he wears? Do you know the value of these medals? Once a man dies, an army officer dies, these medals are put on his chest when he's taken for the commission. These medals are not earned by being a sadak gunda or something. What a shame! And do you know at this very moment, there are thousands of soldiers who are guarding today for your safety, their morale is affected by such a statement that you have made. I just can't imagine. I feel ashamed. I feel totally ashamed on this. This is unpardonable. And if in case he is being pardoned, well, I do not know what to say. But the only thing is, please do not politicize the army. We are above all carry out introspection you will find people whom we call honorable, so-and-so, so many of them. I believe a couple of them, they've got criminal records against them. Oh, General yes. General Robert does not have any criminal record. He's the man above board, a great soldier. So dare not use such words on him.